Unbelievable. All right, close callers, did he go? Another Angel Hernandez video on the same game? Now, yeah. There's some argument about a timeout. Like McNeil's like, did I call timeout or did I not? Fast forward to the 11th inning. I show that check swing only to say this is a contrast from the ejection of Dylan Moore. That play in Seattle, the umpires called no swing. And so when they reviewed it, it turned into a hit by pitch because check swings aren't reviewable. This is the opposite case. The umpire is actually going to call a swing, which makes this play unreviewable. Header. That's up and in, and I think it hit him, but it's a strike. So this is called a foul ball. It is reviewable, and A.J. Hinch is climbing the top step, and the Tigers are going to challenge this. Umpire is getting set for replay when the second base umpire runs in, which is odd because the first base umpire with the right-handed batter would have check swing appeals. So I'll say it's odd to see the second base umpire come into this conference, but not the first base umpire given that. But come to find out, it's going to be the same as the pitch. Pittsburgh ejection in which the plate umpire calls the swing himself. Remember the rule being that on check swing issues, if the plate umpire has a swing, the plate umpire is supposed to, is trained to call the swing. If they don't call a swing, then you can appeal. But if they call a swing, it's final. Now this is legitimately difficult to tell either way, but here's Angel's explanation. Angel's calling a swing on this check. Unbelievable. And the umpires do their best to explain it to a manager who is upset, but at least buys it because his team's already leading by three in extra innings. So A.J. Hinch is talking to the umpires here. In my opinion, he never came around. Hinch, not surprisingly, wants a check, actually tells Angel it's not your call, it's his, which is not correct. See what we just talked about like 10 seconds ago? But what we want to discuss is there is a situation where this is a reviewable play and the review can make the difference between, let's say, an out or a run. And that scenario is if the catcher tried to backpick the runner at third and they got him or he overthrew it and the runner got to go home. Let me explain. If it's a foul tip, that is a live ball. Foul tips are live ball. That is a ball that is caught by the catcher. And on that scenario, whatever happens, like the out or the run, will stand. But if you reverse this on replay and call this a dead ball strike because the batter was swinging as it struck him, then it is a dead ball and none of that back pick in action would count. Hope you enjoyed that detour. It wouldn't be, the, the swing wouldn't be reviewable. God, Angel signaled foul ball. Foul tip, foul ball is a dead ball. His bat hit the glove of Novias. Well, that would make it catcher's interference, but that's not what they call. <laughs> no. I am not doing a third video. So I think they told A.J. Hinch that it was not reviewable because he swung. But again, that was just... He didn't swing at all. That is wild. I am not a crook. Anywho, like, subscribe, Discord, all the others. That face tells it all, and we'll see you on CloseCallSports.com.